Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm here with Miss Bailey. Hi guys! She's going to be showing you guys how to do a hairstyle that we're calling the CGH Faux Waterfall Headband mm -hmm. and it is a DIY. It is a DIY You guys will love hairstyle. it, even for short hairstyles. But before we move on to the hair, we're so excited to announce our first Dallas meetup! Yay! You guys have been asking forever. The meetup is going to be located at the PS from Aeropostale store at the Grapevine Mills Mall on February 28th, which is this coming Saturday, mm -hmm. from 11 to 1. We will love to see you guys, love to say hi, give you big hugs. Now, for those of you that get to come in the store, they're offering 20% off anything you buy in the store, which is awesome. But for those of you who can't come to the meetup because you live too far away, they are still offering a coupon code for online shopping and it will be in the description box below. So be so sure to fun. check that out. Yes, we'd love to see you guys. Love, big hugs, big kisses, see you soon. And Bailey will take over on the hair set. To start off, I've curled my hair with a flat iron. And then the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is part a very, very deep part on either side of your head, but I'm gonna do it on the left side. And basically, it's gonna be so deep, it's gonna be like in line with the end of my eyebrow. So that's where I'm gonna part my hair. It's gonna look a little funny at first. Okay, so now that we've got our part down, to start the braid, you're going to want to take a piece, not too big, but not too small. You just want it to be a perfect braid. So let's see if I can get that. There we go. Okay, so once you have your piece, you're going to want to begin braiding your hair just as a normal braid. We're not doing anything too fancy, just a three-piece braid. This hairstyle works for any type of hair. I found out that it works really well for like when you're growing out bangs or with your short hair or if you just want the front pieces out of your face. It works perfectly for any of those kind of things and it also works when your hair is up if you want to pull it up in a ponytail or down. So it's a very, very simple and easy hairstyle to, that goes with everything. Okay, so once you've finished braiding your piece, go ahead and take a rubber band and rubber band it. Okay, so as you can see on the braid, the outside bumps, those are what we're gonna be working with with this braid. So I'm gonna go back to the very top and you can see the very first outside loop. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and stick my fingers through, like this. So now I have my fingers through. I'm gonna take a piece from the top, the front. It's not, you don't want it to be too big, just a small piece from the front and pull it through the loop. So there's our first stitch of the braid. Now, we're gonna move on to the next outside bump. I'm gonna pull and stick my fingers through. I'm gonna take a small piece, pull it through the loop, and there's our second stitch. And now we're just gonna continue this all the way down. Okay. So as you can see, I've done a couple of the stitches, but we're not actually gonna go all the way down the braid. We're just gonna go down so it's even with the part on the other side of, of the head. So that's what I've done. So now that the stitches are finished, I'm gonna go ahead and take the end of my braid and pin it, kind of bury it underneath my hair. cover it up and now we'll take the stitches and just pull them back. Now the next step I'm going to show you is very important. It will take the hairstyle from being good to like great. So as you can see I've pulled all of my hair, my strands back but sometimes they will lay funny. Well most of the time actually. So the way to fix this is to take a comb and you're going to want to take your strands like so and tease them. So we're going to take our comb, take the strands, and comb downwards. Just tease them a little, little. You can do more teasing or less teasing depending on how you like your hair. As you can see, the teasing in the back helps accent the waterfall effect. For the last step, we're going to go ahead and pancake those ridges in the back just so you can see the braid from the front. You don't have to do too much, just a little is perfectly fine. 
And there you have the CGH Faux Waterfall Braid. Now I'm gonna do the final spin. So here we are. There we go. This hairstyle is literally super easy. It took me like two minutes to do, and it's just a basic braid. Even dads can do it. Like, I mean, my dad can do it, which is huge. So it's super easy. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you guys are coming to the Dallas meetup. We're super excited to see y'all, so we really wanna know if you guys are coming. And I think that's all we have, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye. just get a little more curl in the front you can always turn your blow dryer back on really low and go ahead and just work some more right in the front and kind of take your hand and scrunch yes is so much harder to say than see in Spanish don't you think sí. like when I was taking yes. Spanish classes I would always sí. be like see sí. see sí. it's yes. so much easier than yes, yes. It does take a lot yes 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 see 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 See? <laughs> <laughs>